Welcome to our home. Uh, my name is Katie Segal. Hi, Katie Segal. Hi. What's your name? Oh, my name is Kurt Sutter. Wow, just like we lovely, just met in a bar. Or it's something. lovely to be in Except your not home. in a bar, in a restaurant. It's lovely to be in your home. Wow, I'm so glad to meet you. It's a groovy pad. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we Where's are. Where's your bedroom? My... <laughs> wow. He was never that forward. <laughs> still don't know I what, was. Still don't know what to do in the bedroom. Oh! <laughs> You do just fine. I do. Um, anyway, welcome to what we call Slice of Pie. Right? Yeah. This is where we answer questions. Your questions about stuff. Where can they send yeah. their questions, Kurt? Where they can send their questions to... It says so on there. It says we can send your questions to... Uh, let me just think of this. It's... Uh, uh, or leave it uh, via email or voicemail. Uh, at speakpipe.com slash pie podcast or email us at inbox at Sutter Inc. That's S U T T E R I N K dot com. And I know my line. Let's dive in. Oh. <laughs> okay. So okay. this is from Wonder Cover on Reddit. Would Jax have killed Gemma had he found out sooner about Tara? Like if Juice hadn't covered it up, and if so, would he have done it the same way he ultimately does, or would it have been more similar to what occurred with the Chinese in episode one of season seven? Holy cow! Wow. Um, I don't. I think it would have been at least the emotionality would have been the same. Um, I think the uh, the chase to find out really what happened throughout the season that led to the truth was probably, um, I, I don't know if that would have been emotionally uh, something that would have made it worse or would it have been worse to just sort of be confronted with the truth immediately? I don't know, but I think the result would have been the same. And, I, and no matter when it was to occur, I think the challenge of having to do it uh, or follow through with it would have been uh, equally as difficult. That's what I think. He made it up. He would know. Yeah, I made it up. Didn't really happen. No, Some really people won. think it really did. Well, Didn't really. <laughs> um, okay, here's another one from Reddit. Now that you are working with Jillian Anderson, who is fucking amazing, what are some actors and actresses that you really both want to work with? Who would I like to work? Well, who would I really like? There's so many that I would like to work with. Um, uh, I just heard an interview with Chris Pine. I thought he sounded amazing. So I don't know if it, that I would love to meet him for sure. And yes, I probably would like to work with him. Um, who else would I really like to work with? Uh, so many, so so many. I, I don't, I don't know exactly how to narrow it down. You, honey. Um, actors. Who? <laughs> um, uh, no, I, look, I've been blessed in that I've been able to work with some amazing actors and, um, and, uh, to some degree, watch some of them, uh, uh, uh grow, uh, as amazing actors. But, um, I don't know. Nobody like jumps out. I feel, uh, Probably per project. I yeah, it's really you know. To, uh, uh, very rarely do I write and immediately lock on to an an actor or oh, this is you know, um, with the exception of uh, Southpaw, who which initially was written for uh, Marshall. Uh, but I, 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 it changes sometimes as I write, like who the person is, what I see, and. Um, um, and then it's really not till it's done, um, you know, and, and I'm like, I don't read the trades and that's our dog. He's just howling. Cause I put him in the back. Aww. Um, uh, I don't read the trades. I really don't know. Uh, like I, uh, even casting this show other than obviously my two matriarchs, I, there's so many actors that I just don't know because I don't read the trades. I don't We're watch TV and, right. and, 
So it's always a new experience. It's like, wow, this person's amazing. Maybe if they're on Antique Roadshow, then you know who to cast. That's Kurt's favorite show, Antique Roadshow. Yes, I watch a lot of home improvement shows. I watch a lot of uh, documentaries. And uh, so if, uh, you know... um, if the which is your favorite what, if the jewelry guy from the uh, antique road show you like oh, the, there's so many people that he'll like right. how come he's watching and, and repair, he'll say oh, the, oh you I like the this repair guy. show I like too oh the repair the show repair like shop. the repair which shop which is on the BBC show which he is is amazing but um, yeah so uh, I I don't <laughs> it's all you know like they talk to me like oh he's so you know someone so is interested and I'm like great <laughs> I don't know who you know. so. Uh, I'm I'm not the you know. I watch more TV than yeah me. she more does movies. she does but I I feel blessed like the, I'll just say you know I can't I feel uh, I feel bl- you know very grateful for the cast we've put together for this new project and uh, um, and it wasn't me as much as it was you know Wendy O'Brien and and Netflix and Netflix and you know they brought me a lot of wonderful choices and were managed and managed to make some great deals and, and we uh i feel very fortunate to have um uh, we just did our read through to have all those people sitting around the table saying those words so great cheers cheers all right well this is a question from michael for katie i have not seen any article that provided an acceptable reason as to why rebel was canceled after one season i can't think of another show that featured such hot high caliber actors as yourself john corbett tamala jones abigail spencer sharon lawrence and andy garcia it feels like this, that show was not given the opportunity it deserved who do i need to call to bring rebel back well that's a loaded question i can't really name names but um I think, first of all thank you for that because i agree and if, if Krista Vernoff was on here with me, who created the show, we would have a whole lot of stuff to say. Um, you know, Rebel was a kind of a combination of, you know, we actually got some blowback on Rebel just because we were talking about the medical, um, We were, you know, the whole season was about medical devices. So there was FDA involved in complaints about some of what we were talking about. So that was a little bit of, of it. I think too, you know, our season started at a weird time. It was after COVID. Yeah, and, were, yeah. and so we didn't really get, um, even though I will say this, our numbers were extremely consistent. The fan base was very loyal. And I don't really know why it got canceled, except that there are powers that be that just made those decisions. Yeah. I think some of it too was um, the the uh, transition in 20th and Fox with Disney, I think there was a lot of, uh, and not any, and not people, I mean, on a corporate level, things, uh, like people were still figuring out where to put pieces of the puzzle. Well, I think, I think too, you know, Krista was at the time also running Grey's Anatomy, which is a very, very big job. And so I, I do believe that, um, that, that was, uh, 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 people were wanting her to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But we, you know, little, whatever, there'll be knows? something else. Who knows? But thank you for watching. I agree. Thank I you for that passionate. Yes. Thank you. You know, but, uh, the person to call, well, who knows? Um, God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anybody can help at this point. Hello, I am so excited to tell you about our new sponsor, NordVPN, which I am just getting schooled about myself. But NordVPN is this really cool thing that protects your data while you're traveling. So like if you're on the Wi-Fi that's not that you're not familiar with, nobody can steal your data. It also um if you if you want to watch a sporting event or your favorite TV show, but you're like in, I don't know, where could you be? You're in Iceland, you're in Japan, you're somewhere, and you can't get them. This NordVPN will help you to get uh, all your favorite stuff, all your Netflix, all your favorite things. So I'm so glad they have come aboard Pi, our podcast. Um, NordVPN is the price of a cup of coffee a month. Wow. And the, this part I'm reading, and your can your account can be used for up to six devices to get. 
the best discount on your NordVPN, go to nordvpn.com slash pi VPN. And then our link will give you four months uh, for extra months on your two-year plan. And there's also a money-back guarantee. I mean, you really can't lose. You can only win. My motto. Hello. We also have another new sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh, pre-portioned food, ingredients, seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. And then you can put it all together yourself. You don't have to go to the grocery store. You can just count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why I didn't even know this, but it's America's number one meal kit. That's pretty good, being number one. So uh, that is our new sponsor. We love HelloFresh. And our family, we recently decided to go vegetarian slash vegan, and as I call it, chigan because I cheat. So we chose the meatless meal options for, for those days when we're going, well, Kurt's completely plant-based. I'm, I'm the Chigan. So we chose the meatless, the meal options, and the food was so good, so delicious. Some of the incredible recipes in our box were yellow squash flatbreads and roasted veggie farro bowls happening. I love farro. Um, HelloFresh makes it so easy that you can send, they send you all the pre-portioned ingredients along with these very simple instructions and you have a healthy meal for you and your family in, in just minutes. This other really great perk about Hello Pre this other really great perk about HelloFresh is they have pre-portioned ingredients and it helps food waste up to 45% compared to grocery shopping. So there you go. You're eating really well and you're helping the planet and you're smiling because that's such a good thing to do. Um, we absolutely have been loving HelloFresh and how easy it has made our life when we are always on the go and do not have a lot of time to put into meal prep. And I know some people do. Some people really are committed to the meal prep. I can't quite wrap my brain around it. So I like, the, I like a food delivery service. I like HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash pie apps for free appetizers for life. Wow, that is amazing. One appetizer item per box while subscription is active. That's free appetizers for life at HelloFresh.com slash pie apps. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Oh, okay, this is a question from Matthew. He emailed it. Kurt, what superhero project would you like to take on from either DC, Marvel, or both, regardless of if it has been done already or not? Hmm. Um, how do I say this without just sounding like an arrogant prick? But I've reached a point ahead. in my I'm life, like and I've always been this way, but I've absolutely reached a point where... Um, in, I can't do it. other people's IPs. I'm just not the guy to hire to do it. I, my, you know, I'm a big believer that I apply the word create to the word created by, and I prefer creating mythologies and creating worlds. And that's what I end up being passionate about and being able to show up for. I've attempted working with IPs, and it's just not something I do very well. Why don't you make up a superhero? <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you have. Didn't you stand? Oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah, true. That's true. You did make up a, that's you true. Make up a yeah. superhero. Yeah, I have an IP out there. That's a <laughs> superhero. Comic book. That's right. Um, but uh, no, so I, I don't, I'm not. I'm, and look, I, those movies are fun to watch and and. and you know, go get them, everybody. And, uh, but there's no, you know, I don't, there's no like, oh, if only I had Captain Featherback, I'd be okay. I don't actually think that's a, a real well, that superhero. That could be a, a real superhero. Captain right. Featherback. I don't know. 
Okay, well, this is a fun one from Reddit. Katie and Kurt, if you could do a Futurama SOA parody, who would be the antagonist and why? Um, wow. I, I got lost. What? Futurama? A Futurama SOA like crossover? parody? Yeah, oh, no, crossover. Parody. Who would be the antagonist and why? Antagonist of... Uh... You mean the bad guy? Yeah. Oh, I think Ron Perlman. You mean Clay? I mean Clay. Yeah. No, I think... Well, that's what I mean. I think Clay could be a great antagonist on Futurama, and him and Leela could sort of battle it out. Mm. I think that might be good, Clay and Leela, because he's a, he's a badass, and so is she. I mean, she's a badass with a very soft center. But maybe Clay, too, has a soft Clay, center. Yeah. I mean, he, he reaches it in a different way. Yeah. But uh, that's yeah. true. But they're both, they both have an aggressive quality. Mm. Okay, here's another one from Reddit. Where did you guys buy them chairs? The ones you're sitting in? Yes, the ones you're sitting in. This is vintage. Yeah. No, this one's... This one's new? This one was the newer one. Right, right. They're Eames chairs. They're very mid-century, iconic. This was a vintage one. You cannot find it in this color. Yes. So um, we tend to like... This was a gift, Christmas gift for me? me, Yeah. My office? Yeah, we had a very mid-century hat looking like a mid-century house at one point and so a lot there's a lot of mid-century influx in our uh furniture stock but uh, they're lovely chairs they're very comfortable and um uh and they and they and they make they still make them right i think you can buy them new yeah you can buy them this is this is a relatively new right yeah i don't know the the name of the it doesn't have a specific name does it eames they're eames yeah i know but like is it like oh like eames Eames makes more than a bunch of chairs yeah I, I don't know, the recliner? lounger, the lounger? recliner, I don't know. the rocker. Right. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. All right, we got a couple of voicemails. This first one's from Georgia. All right. Hi, my name's Georgia. Uh, I'm from the UK. And I just want to ask, um, what was the inspiration for the podcast? Um, and what was the inspiration for the name of the podcast? Uh, I really love the kind of way the podcast is carried out because it is a lot different to other podcasts. Um, but I recently just started watching uh, a couple weeks ago and it's really helped me kind of have an outlook on a couple of different things. Uh, I just want to say thank you both. Hmm. Thank you, Georgia, so from the UK. sweet, Georgia. We've been talking about it for like from a while back. And yeah, then- I had originally this idea and I was just stealing from Seinfeld uh, which was, you know, he does cough, uh, comedians in cars getting coffee. And, and I had initially during the pandemic, uh, Katie Kurtwright, who's our producer, we had talked about the idea. Of, it was about um, uh, eating pie, something about pie, eating pie on Zoom with writers. It was like I, that was initially some of it. Um, but then that went away and we started talking and we were thinking about, you know, uh, it being more home based, and that's when the whole idea of like, oh, maybe it's maybe we pie, and I think you then also but brought it up, like pie. You made it up. You, you no, came no, up but with then the I idea. then I tweaked it and right. I was like, well, what does pie mean? And then I just picked out a few words that like maybe is what we do here, which is but exactly what we the do. inspiration, which I just found out has ruined his life. That I can't give that away, but the inspiration in terms of the perhaps wink, wink at my mythology was, uh, you know, the final juice arc in Sons when he just says, I just want, you know, just, what is it? Just let me finish my pie. Yeah. I didn't, I never even put that together that that was what was happening. I sort of thought. Until today? Yeah. I mean, I knew, I I thought that the idea for the podcast did not come from that. I realized that eventually it kind of, intersected but i just thought that we had talked about doing a podcast where we didn't talk about what people oh, do no i mean i just mean the name and, and oh right the and name the, yes. and the food of it all but then the... kurt took the acronym and yeah. put the words to it so that it made sense and we really do try to focus more on um who people are uh rather than what people do like we're really trying to find some people that um we don't really know that much about what they do and you know, we know they're like, I would love to talk to some like physicists and, you know, scientists and, you know, people that aren't necessarily, um, you know, aren't in show business. Right, right. And so that was kind of the, and I'm glad you're getting something from it, Georgia, because that 
that's that's a that's a nice component for us. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just uh, uh, what I would. You know, we didn't know what to expect really, as far as uh, not. I don't mean like feedback or anything other than our experience, which was it's fun. It was like, what are we? What are we doing? Do we really? Why are we doing? And then, but we we get to meet and hang with people. We we a lot of people we don't know, learn about them, and then we also get to plug in with other human beings in a way that's very fast and it, you know in in um, in a get to a certain level of intimacy very fast which is a a good i think i would say i don't know if you would agree with this but i think that both of us in our lives w- want more of that oh, want absolutely. more of that you know we're not great with small talk mm-hmm. we're kind of the people you know we're not you know partiers or drinkers or anything so yeah. we we kind of like we we enjoy a deeper conversation yeah. so and it's hard at a di- it's hard like if we're having a party right and, and you're just meeting people to say you know hey hey what what did your dad do to you when you were growing up right right, right. Know, it's hard to get right to the trauma in that's small not, talk we're using the word too much trauma the, well the word, let's, let's find the another roots. word all right get um, to the roots yeah that's the shit they did that fucked you up yeah right there you go, there you go. okay Something like that, yeah. And yep. then, and then uh, the last thing I will say is we did we did have conversation back and forth about like, oh, there's so many fucking podcasts now. Who needs another one? And then we realized, you know what though, we're unique. We are us. And uh, is that what we got to? I don't know. Whatever. We're doing it. We're we and we enjoy it. We you know what we we're enjoy it more than I think we thought we were going to. Yes. And so at this point, we just like to do things we like. To yeah, because you know what it is for us too. We don't usually talk to each other. Oh, stop. We do, too. He just wants to paint that picture. I don't know. Why. No, you know what I mean. Like, we're busy people. We talk to each other. You talk to me more than... Any, you text me 50 times a day. That's that's an, a total exaggeration. Well, exaggeration, but not by too much. And we talk all the time. You text me a lot. I, of course I do. I love you. I don't, I don't respond often. I, I'm the one that gets yelled at for not responding. I know. I know. Where was your phone? Why don't you have your phone? Uh, yeah, when yelled at is a strong word. Well, I didn't say yelled at. Yeah, I you said did. I did. Yeah, you just said I'm the one that gets yelled okay. at. Okay. Well, I don't have my phone on so me all the time. That's how it works, right? Yeah. Okay. 